Here we are in angle, so double tent, and that's Elliot and Ellie's. This is his communal area. And this is our tent, Camp Cunningham. Push it closer for them. Well done. Here we are embarking on the Mind Paris, the copper mine, the copper mountain. So while we're in Anglesey, one of the things that we're exploring is the Mind Paris, copper mountain, and uh, ex open excavations and mines. So we're just going to have a, uh, a wander around and have a look. What I find quite interesting is that the stone is almost fully copper in colour. The ore that um, obviously they had to drag metal out of, all tainted rock. And this place is vast, really big. I won't go in them because this is loose. I can't go in that cave then instead. This is an old building. Looks like some kind of functioning building, maybe some maintenance equipment or something in here, but it's built out of, you can quite clearly see it's built out of rock that's been gathered from here. This is not too bad, but there's a hell of a lot of rocky tracks. It's really quite difficult to walk on, but it's uh, an excellent explore. And like we've seen in Peak District at the moment, this beautiful purple leather just growing out of this copper rock. It's very bizarre. A very odd landscape. Here's the old windmill. Still in reasonable state of repair. I'll have a look around that in a moment. I've spotted something else that we would need to tag. Trig point. Ella, are you tagging the trig, baby? The Paris Mountain Trig. We're going to, we're just still having a look around to get the trig, baby. Love a trig, you don't you, babe? Mm. That's the trig bag, let's go and have a look at the old windmill, which I think you can kind of get get into some degree. Looks in a reasonable state, of, main, maintained reasonably well. Oh. Decent. Oh, ah, sound. Look at that for badass. That's holy granny, 
seen some suspect bridges in my time but well, we ain't got there yet, it might be solid but it might not even be a bridge, it might just be a, a fenced walkway actually I mean, it's not even a bridge, it's a, just a fenced walkway. Oh, it'll be epic, but it didn't look like that from over there, did it? It's that car in Boston, isn't it? Car? There's a rusted old, old bits of... Oh, yeah. The oh dear. So we found this little cave bit. Oliver's climbed up above us. Nice and steady boppy. Use the sides, you put your hands on the sides if you need. Good girl. Heading up to this uh, big group of ruined buildings up on the other side of the uh, copper mining area now. Uh, don't know what about them, but looks as though at some point they were repatched though, because well, a lot of original stone is that like locally mined. And you see some red brick here that's probably been used for a later dated repair. But there's a hell of a lot of walls and structure still stood up around here so from a distance they're like ruined buildings and whatnot looked quite good but um, not knowing all about them and there hardly been any of them left it weren't actually my favourite bit right we're going to drop down to the bottom of the copper mine now if we can and uh, there looks to be a few more open excavations that we might just be able to poke his nose in still so we're going to go and have a look at them come on baby we'll Oh, so we've got down to the bottom, and I presume they're all going to be like this, but it's uh, it's cordoned off. You can't get in. Not that I think we'd have gone in anyway, but this is, this really is one of old mine fronts where they they went down. Let's get a bit closer, see if we can see out inside. Oh no, it's all fell in. As you can see, it's all fell in. But there's a few more to look at, so I'll have a little trek round. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. So these are what Elliot reckons, and I think he's right, will have been where they've drilled for next course of dynamite to go in and then I don't know, maybe decided not to not to blow it or whatever. So operation stopped or one last little thing to have a look at. There looked to be some around this corner here, but might might be wrong. Oh wow, it's not actually all too uh... Alright. Number 10. Marquis Shaft. A miner who was present at the discovery was rewarded with a bottle of brandy and a rent free cottage for life. <laughs> Great lad. It dropped on him, paid. didn't it? <laughs> Just got pezzed out of it. So, from reading, we, as theories about the dynamite mining were correct, they did use that and uh, 
nice little map and, it, and it's actually the map shows you where fr from where you actually stood so the windmill up there and the the buildings over there down to the veins and the mines down there lovely so we've had a reasonably good explore around paris mountain copper mine now um there's a few nice features a lot of walking to be done and there's a you know there's a lot of open casts and whatnot but and it is quite interesting but we it's run its course now we're on its way back thanks for coming along see you later